What's up guys, Johnny with The Drift here again, and we are going to jump right back into some backcountry small stream fly fishing. Um, it was a beautiful uh, August day, I believe, and we're going to jump into this with a beautiful bow and arrow cast, as you can see right here. There was a fisherman right here on the edge of the current in that shallows, as you can see, a perfectly executed bow and arrow cast right into my finger. So as you can see, some blood coming out right there. That was not a good cast whatsoever. Uh, so I get this uh, fly back out here. Luckily, the fish was still there. I didn't spook it. And I try to perfect this cast once again. And fortunately, I finally hit the water with the fly. Flies in the water, drifted past him. I hit it just behind him, but he was still there. Threw it one more time, and you can see him right there grab that fly. Again, I saw him finning right there in the shallows. And he ended up taking it right there on the first good drift. The first cast in there wasn't so good. It was a little behind him. Uh, but that second one hooked him right away um, and was able to land that fish. It was a nice little German brown. Got him released and started working my way back up the stream. Um, and in this video, just to sh it shows how great the fishing was back here and why I love backcountry fly fishing so much. There's no one around. And a, a lot of these fish don't see many flies. Um, I was fishing the sides of these currents here. As you can see, the water's moving pretty fast, so fish weren't really hanging out there. And I'll get a quick zoom in so you can see where this fish actually bit. It was right under this bank, hanging right underneath um, the underneath of this bank. I took a step forward as I saw him feed. And you can see once he strikes here, you can see the silver belly on him. There he is. He was under that bank. And that's where most of the fish were hanging out this day. Again, the current was pretty strong. There was some rain a few days before. Uh, so most of these fish were hanging out wherever they could just chill out, not have to swim as much, and can just have the bugs come to them. Um, so I was looking mostly at the side of these currents as I was fishing up the stream. As you can see, it was pretty straight uh, where the stream was, so not many corners in this section. Another nice German brown. Got him uh, released and kept fishing our way up the stream. Looking at those edges um, to see if we can see any fish, uh, just sight fishing. So this is actually just a few steps forward, but I saw, saw a fish feed on the other side of this creek, hooked him there. And again, as you can see, he's just hanging out in that little calm, cool area behind that. There he is, hooked him again there, uh, right behind that big log there as it created somewhat of a, of a break in that water and those fish were able just to hang out there. I hooked him about three or four times. For some reason, couldn't land him. Then I started fishing him a little bit lower in that pool to see if there was any other fish down there. Letting the drift a little more and hooked one right there. Missed him again. Typically the water's a lot clearer on this stream, but that rain really washed it out. So kind of helped get a little bit closer to the fish. Fished that pool a little lower and hooked a nice fish. Um, right out of that, uh, again, that calm edge there. I didn't really catch too many fish in the middle of the current, but typically these fish are so hungry um, way back in this in this stream that they'll be everywhere, just littered everywhere throughout the stream. Uh, but these ones were definitely just taking it easy in those pools today. And just to let you guys know, this was probably within probably a 20-foot section of creek that I just caught all those fish and hooked all those fish. So plenty of fish in there. This is a different section. You can see the arrow there. There's a little drop off, a little shelf that it's pointing to right after those riffles where it gets about three to three and a half foot deep in there. So pretty deep for this stream. Uh, I wanted to start fishing there just to see if there was any fish in there. I, I, I figured there would be uh, just because how the water was. It looked so fishy and so perfect for some trout to be hanging out there. So I started fishing that. And this is probably the widest where the, the widest the stream got. As you can see, it looks pretty wide, but it was pretty shallow in most areas. And ended up catching a couple out of there. Here's one of them. Absolutely beautiful day out there. If you guys like this type of fishing, this backcountry small stream uh, fly fishing, definitely subscribe for more videos. We have a lot more coming out this spring and summer. Um, some how-to, some gear reviews. Uh, so subscribe if you'd like to see more of those. And let me know in the comments what other videos you'd like to see as well. My fly there, my hopper was getting pretty tore up, as you can see. Those fish were just hammering all day long. I figured I could keep casting out there, though, as 
Uh, the fish were so hungry, I didn't think they'd really care the, the presentation of the fly. Or excuse me, the look of it. And just work my way down this corner. Now work the midsection of it right there. First, second cast out there. Another hammer on that one. Honestly, I probably could have just fished this corner all day long and caught fish. Just working my way up and down, up and down. Because it just seemed like there were so many fish in there. Mostly brown trout this day, but some cutthroat and then some brookies as well, but mostly uh, mostly German browns um, in this stream. This took about, I'd say about 30 minutes to an hour to hike back into, uh, but it took the, the drive to get back there off of the highway. It was pretty far back in there. I never really see anybody back in this stream, which is nice. Um, and again, that's why I love this type of fishing. You can go to uh, the South Platte in Colorado or another bigger river and you're rubbing shoulders with these guys, but this is my type of fishing. Nothing like being on these small streams when, with no one else around. Move my way back up to the top of the stream. As you can see here, gave those fish in that, uh, that riffle there, that shelf, gave them a rest, and they were right back at it again. Uh, there was no delay um, in any of these fish uh, at all during this day. But definitely check out my channel for, uh, again, any more small stream fishing. Uh, if there's anything else you want to see, leave a, a, a like as well as a comment so I can improve. And hope you guys have a good rest of your day.